if you have not subscribed to this channel this is the time for you to do that by hitting the bell icon right beneath your screen and then also hitting the subscribe button my name is daniel and i want to use this opportunity to welcome you to the worship channel this channel here we are here to play godly music videos and have interviews with worship leaders across africa and the world but today we are doing something that we haven't done before and that is looking critically at the movie that has been trending on youtube for the past one week that movie is Abejoye. Abejoye is a Yoruba word which means the Almighty. We shall be looking at the season four of Abejoye just in a critique aspect. We're not going to be reviewing the movie, we're just going to be looking at it in terms of critiquing the movie. <laughs> So I'm going to be starting off with something in the first uh, scene, which is the call between the chief and Lagbaye. In this scene, which I'm going to be showing you in some few seconds from now, you shall be seeing something that I feel there, there, was, there was something wrong with the scene. What I mean by that is you will look at the scene and then see that there is an establishing shot in, uh, in videography. What they call establishing shot is a shot that shows the, the place or the area that establishes the location where the scene was shot. Now, you're going to see uh, a uh, uh, an establishing shot of the environment depicting America, you know, high-rise buildings and, and uh, a serene, clean environment. But when you go into the scene itself, right into the scene, what we are seeing there is an office. And the office, I mean, doesn't look like as though it is in America. But one thing I like about the scene is that uh, the accent of the chief that was on call with um, Chief Lagbaye in that scene, he had the uh, American, uh, semi-American accent, which was good. But in terms of the background, there could have been paintings, sculptures, I mean, things that depict America in the scene that could have actually struck a chord for somebody to be a professor in one of the universities abroad, in, I mean, in the United States, there should have been something in the office that should have depicted that, not just having books on the table, not just having a, a phone and, uh, yes. So I, I feel there are things that are supposed to be there that were not there that should be there. Hello, good afternoon. This is Dr. Edmond Lagbaye of the African Religion Department in the West Lesham University, Kansas City, Missouri. Am I on to Bamidele? Yes, you are right, sir. This is Mr. Bamidele. How may I help you? Well, uh, just to greet your father, High Chief Ola Yoton Abedoye. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. I will deliver your message. By the way, how is he? I hope he's fine and okay. Oh, sure. He's very well. He's very okay. I will deliver your message. Is he there with you? So I could greet him. Okay, second second thing we can note in the film is if you if you look at the, the, the 49th minute, I mean let's Fast forward down to that timeline in the scene you're going to be seeing now I mean you're going to see that you will notice that the, the African traditionalists in the US during their meeting they struck one of the carved staffs these staffs were uh, on the table I mean on their occultic table or their diviners table with a, a white and a red uh, spotted pot and then you will notice that when it was time for them to commence the meeting because one of their members was not around i mean chief baye boton chief baye boton was not there and uh, so they had to start off the meeting and before they could start the meeting they had to stand up 
and then one of them before standing had to hit the the staff of by button striking it face down to show that he is absent and because he's absent he cannot be part of that meeting i mean that scene was very good i mean it, it symbolized the traditional uh, the traditional belief of these uh, traditionalists that we are in that scene Buy button is not picking this call. What? With or without buy button, this meeting has to hold. That man insulted us here and left for Africa. Chief Lua Fokuno, I propose that this meeting continues. Let's move on. Oh, yes. I liked it a lot. And uh, it also symbolized that one of their members was absent also from the, from the film. Okay. I mean, not from the film, but from that uh, scene. The next thing is uh, uh, about I love, uh, the next point that I love about the film is the scene of confrontation. If we move forward to the 53, uh, 53rd uh, minute of the film, you will notice that there was a confrontation that ensued between the traditionalists. Here, you are going to be looking at Dr. Edmond. Dr. Edmond uh, was, in a, in, was, in a, was in a frenzy with the tra his fellow traditionalists who felt that Dr. Edmond did not put on the correct ring or the right ring or the potent ring. Why? Why was this the case? They, 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 they blamed um, Dr. Edmond because he did not have the opportunity to test the ring before using it on Chief so the ring was not tested and it brings me to this question please who should have tested the ring or who should he have tested the ring on you know this is a very very uh, important question i would love if you can leave your comments in the comment section below because what transpired in the next scene is a test of the the ring you know on chief oluwo afopina chief oluwo afopina was the 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 victim here you know the, he was the general secretary or he is in the film the general secretary of the council of african traditionalists in the united states so he, he was more or less doubting that the efficacy of the ring was the ring actually effective what could he do with the ring and if uh, dr edmund could not make use of a co correct or potent ring he brought more shame and dishonor to their occultic tradition uh, to their occultic traditional uh, uh, system so i mean it was it was a terrible uh, uh, scene uh, where chief edmund was uh, uh, had the opportunity of giving the the chief uh, Fopina, uh, the general secretary of the Council of uh, African Traditionalists in the United States, a handshake, and uh, with the, wearing the ring, and uh, you know what the ring did—it paralyzed him. So that particular scene, I love the lighting, I love the environment. The scene was good. There was a, I mean, when you look at the scene, you would see that the 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 the, the dressing, the the the. the Everything was done in a very good way. I don't know about any other person, but as far as I'm concerned, whatever it is that that man is doing in Africa can affect me. It affected you because the last meeting you did not come, but we went past you. And you, Dr. Lagaye, I can't even understand you anymore. I knew what I did, and it has never failed before, Dr. Hedman. Have you tested the ring before? I had no need to. Because it was one of the powerful offensive instruments given to me by the master from the high priest's uh, shrine. What? You have not tested it before taking us to that man to insult us. He blasted us and matter the floor. And all that we stood for. I would left to clear that rubbish. We have to restore our own integrity. Now, he escaped from us and gone back to Nigeria. I sincerely apologize, gentlemen, for all the lapses. I thought it would work on him. 
That means that that man has a higher power inside of him indeed. No! If all due respect, Dr. Edmund, he showed he did not prepare well. He took a wrong ring to that house. That was a stupid, unthinkable action to take, Dr. Edmund. We will still find out what went wrong and still reclaim back our honor. Gentlemen, I promise, I, Dr. Edmund Lagbaye, I promise, and that we all appreciate. Gentlemen, this bickering that we are having here is doing nobody any good. What we need to do is to re-strategize. That old man insulted us and rubbished us and went back to Africa. We need to do something and get back at him. For what that man did, he or somebody around him must bear the consequence of what he did to us. He even said I'm not fit to be among you. He said I'm shallow. That was embarrassing. He didn't lie. He didn't see you at the last meeting. I will show you I'm not shallow. And that for the thought or the foolish steps taken by one of us. Ah. Gentlemen, once again, I am sorry for the lapses. I am sorry. Hi, Chief. Once again, I apologize for all the laps. Kind of thing will not happen again. We will appreciate that. Ah! Ah. What happened? Dr. Hedman, what did you do to him? I was only trying to test the ring on him whether it was safe or not. You really need to do that. He was the one that accused me when I took the ring to the man's house. He said it was fake. I've had the higher power in him, stronger than all of us. But must you test this on him? This is unacceptable. So, what will happen to him now? I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. Did you notice something else in this scene? I, I know that if you looked carefully, you wouldn't have missed it. Yes, if you look closely at this scene, which I'll be replaying again, the famous scene of the uh, the chiefs, uh, the traditionalists, um, beginning their meeting without one of their own, who could not make it for the meeting, you will notice that something happened in the scene. The three chiefs that were present in the meeting were holding their staffs of authority um, uh, uh, in front of their uh, um, traditional um, table, I think their divination table or cultic table, I don't know what to call it. And then something remarkable happened in the hand movement. If you look at how the camera angle went, you are going to see that the three chiefs, especially the hand of Chief Oluwo Afopina, Oluwo Afopina's hand, the way he was holding the idol or the staff of office in his hand, it was at a, at a different angle and it was facing the back. It was facing the portrait towards the portrait that was behind Dr. Edmund. So the, the, his, his idol was facing the portrait, not facing the camera in front that we are we, we can see right here. You will notice that the 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 the, the, the strange thing is his hand his hand is curved like this, like this. Dr. Edmund's hand is like this. And then the, the, the third chief there, his hand is like this. Can you see? But if you look at the scene I hope you can see my hand. Yes, this was okay. Yes, this is the the, the way the direction of how ev how everything is. Okay, but now you will now notice that when the camera did what we call a close up shot, that's a zoomed shot to show what they're actually doing. This is what I was seeing. You no, know? and that was not how the man 
or the chief was a uh, chief of Fubina was actually holding his hand and facing the idol. So I think that's one thing that Mount Zion, uh, Dr. Mike uh, Amiloye, and the entire production team uh, can also look into in the future to correct or to make uh, adjustments to in subsequent uh, episodes and seasons. And in this scene, I want to show us. I want us to see um, what's going to happen between the doctor and the family of Chief Afobina. Afobina's family in this scene is uh, depicted as a, as a, in a scene that is they are going through the aftermath of the ring, the handshake that, uh, that uh, Chief Afobina uh, got from Dr. Edmund. So you are going to notice in this scene that the doctor came rushing in there was nobody opening the door there was no maid no security man no nanny nobody to receive the doctor into the residence of chief Af 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 afobina you know the the african traditionalist the revered the african traditionalist nobody was there to receive him he just came in the doctor just walked in and there was no prior call placed to the doctor there was no scene showing a call being placed to the doctor for the doctor to come it was when the doctor came i i observed that the doctor could not fully diagnose the case that was wrong with for pina and then he had to insist that uh, he dialed uh, one um, nine one one for the hospital uh, for them to bring an ambulance to take him to the hospital. So at that in in that scene, I can see some kind of distortion. There is no harmonization between establishing a shot that can tell us this is the what led to the doctor coming in. We don't even know how he came home. You know, nobody knows how he came home. I know he didn't drive himself because he was paralyzed from head to toe. The scene did not show us how he got home. And uh, throughout the scenes uh, showing the traditionalists, they have never been driven by a driver. Even you can see it from subsequent scenes when even Dr. Edmond came to pay a visit to the family of Bamidele's when uh, Baba had come back to Ajibogo. You can see that in the prelude for season five but be that as it may I, I was expecting to see how he came home and uh, how he was conveyed home as well as what led to the doctor coming and how the doctor was transported and how he was ushered into the room yeah 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 oh Lagbaye? Who is Lagbaye? Where have you gone? What have they done to you? Yay! Oh, Dr. Marcos, thank you for coming. Yay! How, how is he? He's not getting Yay. any better. Yay. I don't know what is going on. He's been like that since he came home from the office. From the office? Yes. Baba, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Can I just lift this off the lid? Oh, what, what happened to him? He went for a meeting this morning and from the report I got